Hello, sorry guys. You know, I've been away for a while. You've been busy with uh, home, work, school stuff. You know the, the deal. But what I did catch on my break was Disney's panel for D23 for, to promote and reveal all their new projects. And I will probably make the Marvel one a separate video. I know it's been a couple days since it's been D23, but I wanted to mainly talk about uh pixar's panel and uh, yeah there was frozen 3 uh, uh what else toy story 6 but incredible 3 was revealed and i have a few things to say about incredible 3 because i actually grew up watching the first one that came out in 2004 and I remember for the longest time there was speculation what would an Incredibles 2 look like? What would an Incredibles 2 look like? And then 14 years later, Incredibles 2 comes out in 2018. I go watch it and I like it at the time. At the time I liked it and I think everyone else did too. At the time it was a really good movie, but then over time, over rewatches, people people started rewatching it, this and that. And people started to like it less and less, and I don't blame them. I don't blame them because, to because Incredibles 2 has a very very different tone from Incredibles 1. Incredible 1 almost feels like a mature story about superheroes that live among us. They're struggling to survive. They gotta do something. They gotta be brought up back to the light. Now Incredibles 2 tries to expand on that, but not in the best way possible. They take the series more of a kid route, more like um, like jokesy jokes, I guess type of way. There's not really, there's not as much haunt and as much story as the first one. But this is not a review about Incredibles 2. This is going to be a talk about Incredibles 3 and what my expectations are and what I hope to see in the film. Now, my first concern is are they gonna age up the kids and the parents because Incredibles 2 takes takes place immediately after the first one so no one's aged up even though it's been 14 years till it till even though it's been eight, 14 years since the last one they did not age up the family so in Incredibles 3, I, I hope they would age up the families because I feel like since most of us that grew up with the original movie and uh, so Incredibles 2, like you know, we would all be aged up. So feel like it would open the door for more storytelling up with opportunities, more interesting decisions for sure. And because I feel like aging up the characters would just be a, you know, a more natural step to take. Like, for example, series like How to Train Your Dragon and uh, the, uh, I guess the Sonic movies where like, like every, every character per movie ages up and not like, for example, we just had, um, Despicable Me, Despicable Me 4 come out this year and it's been 14 years since the last one and the characters have not aged up one bit. So... I would like, so one of my hopes is that Incredibles 3 would have, um, would have the characters age up and I would want them to have a more, a more stronger villain. I really liked Syndrome, I thought he was really like threatening, but screen saver I did not find all that threatening and I thought her big reveal was kind of underwhelming and it, I thought it was something predictable that you could see coming from a mile away. So, but why are they making a new one? And that's a question I've had for, for um, ever since I heard the announcement. Because, like I said, like I was talking earlier, after Incredibles 2 came out, it seems like the spark for a new one kind of died, kind of died down. And there wasn't as much demand for an Incredibles 3 as much as there was for an Incredibles 2 before that one came out. But what I think Disney is doing is that they might release Incredibles 3 around 2027 or 2028. And why do I say that? 
because by that time the kids that the kids that saw Incredibles 2 when it came out would be either in high school or freshman colleges college kids by the time 2027 20, 2028 rolls around <laughs> but if they're gonna age up the characters that makes me that makes me wonder what would uh, the original voice actors sound like or would they even come back because in Incredibles 2 the original voice actors came back but they obviously sounded a lot older now if Incredible 3 comes out around 2027-2028 that's a that's a whole other 10 years later so yes there was a 14 year age gap between the first one and the second one but now we're gonna have a 10 year age gap so they're gonna sound even older so would we even need the original voice actors to come back or should we cast new ones these are all questions that are like supposed to be taken into account and just questions I ask myself because I feel like I'm really passionate about these characters when it comes to the first one and then the second one even though it's universally <coughs> thought of as an okay like sequel my my question is do we even need an Incredibles 3 I'd say no the last movie had ended off on a I'm not gonna say a high note but it ended and it could have been a good nice little duology but they want to go for the trilogy route now i don't know what story they I don't, I don't know what story they want to take i'm not going to come up with my own story because i don't even know where they would take the series to but one thing that um i that one thing that i would take into account is that if they do launch if the if the sequel does launch uh forwards the, the development process I would just want them to really have a good story bring back some of the serious materials and tones of the first movie <coughs> not just not just fumble the bag because because I just feel like Incredible Bush 3 has potential even though no one asked for it it seriously has big potential but anyways, that's just some of my thoughts on Incredibles 3. Um, I recorded the second half of this video after the first half. So I don't even know if I left something out that I was going to talk about. But this is going to be the end for this video. If you, guys have any, if you guys have any comments on what you think, leave them of what you think the movie is going to be about. Just leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Any help would be appreciated. Click the link in the bottom for a cookie. I don't know. But anyways, guys, have a good one, and I'll see you next episode.